The recent Printing United show in Vegas housed over 800 exhibitors and did not disappoint. For the first time in years, manufacturers were announcing new equipment right up to the week before the show, which was refreshing to see announcements like those return. I have a lot to share, so let's get into it. First up, Graftech announced their all-new CE8000 roll-fed cutters. These cutters are offered in 15, 24, and 50 inches. The 15 inch has an optional sheet table, while the 24 and 50 inch have optional catch baskets. The catch baskets are a great option if you don't want your finished graphics touching the floor and picking up any dirt or dust, and they also help keep your media neatly contained in front of the cutter while using it. These new cutters offer 450 grams of cutting force and speeds up to 39 inches per second. You can easily update the firmware through GS2 or CM5 software via the flash drive or USB cable. These new cutters are engineered for higher productivity and they are the perfect solution for those looking to increase production in signage, print graphics, automotive markets, garment decorations, and more. Some of the new features on the CE8000 include a touch panel. This is a new touch panel and works alongside traditional mechanical keys. The touch screen also offers a more intuitive menu structure and has icons for easier operation. The new CE8000 is now wireless, which means you can place it anywhere in the room and not worry about cords getting in the way or restricting the distance between the computer and the cutter. It also comes with a new tool holder, which makes it easier to change tool and blade positions for kiss and perf cutting. No more screwing around with changing the tool holder positions, just slide the new stopper, change positions, and slide the plunger back. I'm hoping the next gen pro cutters get this feature as well. The 15 and 24 inch models will start shipping next month and the 50 inch will ship in the December-January timeframe. The new CE8000 15 inch has a list price of $1395, the 24 inch will come in at $1895, and the 50 inch will have a price, a list price of $4895. The 24 and 50 inch models will come with stands. I am an authorized Graphtech dealer, so feel free to contact me in the link in the description below if you're interested in purchasing a new CE8000 or any one of the other Graphtech models, and I'll be sure to email you a discounted quote. Financing is available. Next up, Powderless DTF. I was pretty surprised to see this printer at the show. A Powderless DTF printer by KingJet. The KJ604 DTF printer offers the adhesive as a liquid through a separate printhead. This third printhead eliminates the need for the messy hazardous powder that traditional DTF printing uses. This KJ604 DTF printer uses Epson I32A1 printheads and it's offered in a three or four head configuration. The head configuration is one CMYK, one white, and one adhesive. The four head configuration adds another CMYK head, increasing the speed by 50%. Ink is delivered via continuous ink supply system. With the adhesive being a liquid versus a cured powder, it gave the shirt more of a dye sub feel than traditional DTF. The print was extremely soft. The powerless DTF printer with dryer is offered on their website for $26,000. Kingjet offers a full line of DTF, UV DTF, EcoSol, and dye sub printers. There will be a link in the description below to their website. Muto introduced a new print cut device. The C641SR Pro is a 24-inch EcoSol print cut combo that is perfect for a wide range of applications such as stickers, heat transfers, vehicle decals, posters, banners, and more. In addition to the built-in print and cut, the C641SR also offers perf cutting as well as other features of the full-size Expojet Pro series printers, including the ultra-fast Muto Actifine printhead, Dropmaster 2 and Feedmaster automatic alignments, iScreen Intelligent Interweave technology, and Media Tracker. If you're not familiar with the Media Tracker function, it prints a barcode with the remaining media prior to removing the roll. The printer can then read the barcode when the roll is placed back on the printer to eliminate guessing how much media is left on it. There is an optional stand and take up reel if you really want to shift into production mode. The printer cutter has a list price of $64.95. I interviewed Muto's product manager responsible for this printer and I plan on doing a full video, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss it. Mamaki surprised the industry by introducing not one, not two, but three new printers at the show this year. The first printer introduced was the EcoSol CJV200 print cut device. I'll dive deeper into this model in future videos to provide a more comprehensive overview of this printer series, so make sure you're subscribed. The CJV200 series is available in three sizes, 30, 54, and 64 inches. These printers can be configured to support up to eight colors or a dual CMYK color mode for enhanced speed. In terms of speed, they can achieve up to 183 square foot per hour at resolutions up to 1200 DPI. The list price for the 54 inch printer at the time of this video was $11,000. Next from Mamaki is the JFX 21213. 
The JFX 21213 is geared toward shops that want to offer flatbed printing but may not have the space or the budget. The JFX 200 has a max media size of 52 inches by 54 inches and it's offered in CMYK white and clear ink, ink options. It's capable of speeds of up to 269 square foot per hour and at the time of this recording it has a list price of $50,000. Milwaukee also announced another printer in their TXF series. The TXF 300-1600 is a 63 inch wide DTF printer built on the same platform as the popular TXF 330 inch DTF printer. This Pro model printer delivers approximately three times the productivity as the 30 inch model. The new TXF 300-1600 can print resolutions up to 1440 dpi and ink is offered in 600 milliliter packs with the exception of the white ink which is offered in 500 milliliter packs. This printer does offer MRA, Mamaki Remote Access. More on that in a future video. Prism Inks debuted their new Fusion Ink. Prism states one printer, one ink, meaning that switching from DTF to die sub requires nothing more than changing the media in your printer from film to transfer paper. These new inks are pigment based, which means they're suitable for DTF and die sublimation. The pigment allows these inks to be outdoor durable. Prism is currently testing that now. Fusion inks offer versatility, whether you're printing vibrant sublimation designs, durable DTF transfers, outdoor applications, or hard surface prints. They're also cost effective. Streamline your inventory and reduce costs associated with maintaining and purchasing multiple printers and ink types. You can also save some money with the Fusion inks. For DTF transfer applications on white tees, there is no need to use white ink. It also offers a simplified workflow. Only one printer and ink to manage, you will reduce the complexity of your printing process. This was quite a year for Epson as they announced six new printers. The SureColor V1070 desktop UV printer was finally released for the US. Teased for several months and released overseas earlier this year, it's finally available in the US. This six color compact space saving printer offers CMYK white clear and ink, along with simple operation and easy maintenance. The V1070 offers a print area of just over eight by 11 and it has a list price of 84.95. Epson did display a DTF printer with shaker and dryer in their booth. Unfortunately, it did not have a model number on it and none of the Epson reps could discuss it, but they did share that it has a 35 inch print width It'll produce consistent results day after day and it will offer an intuitive design with low maintenance. A long overdue makeover for the S-Series printer, the new Epson S9170 64 inch EcoCell printer was introduced. I was told this will be sold alongside the S8600, not replacing it, at least for now anyways, as there are some differences. The new S9170 is an 11 color printer offering CMYK, light cyan, light magenta, light black, red, orange, and an all new green ink. White ink still is an option. See my video on white ink if you're considering configuring a printer in the future. Epson claims that the addition of green ink with the S9170 can now print 99% of the Pantone colors. Other features include a user replaceable print head. Ink comes in 800 milliliters and one and a half liter pouches and sizes can be mixed and matched while printing. Like before, I will be covering this printer in a more detailed video, so make sure you're subscribed. Epson released two new die sub printers, the F9570 and 9570H. Both printers have user replaceable print heads. They both print over 1500 square foot an hour. The 9570 is a four color printer and the 9570H is offered as an eight color configuration with violet and fluorescent ink options. Both offer hot swappable ink pouches and come with an Epson Edge print software. The 9570 has a list price of $30,000 and the 9570H has a list price of $35,000. And for all you photographers out there, Epson released a new photographic printer. You may be interested in the new SureColor P20570. This 64 inch printer offers 12 channels of 1.6 liter ink fired through the Precision Core Micro TFP printhead, and it offers photographic print quality at speeds up to 200 square foot an hour. The P20570 has a list price of $12,300. We round out the new products and equipment with the announcement of the Suma F1612 a single phase professional flatbed finishing system. Why is single phase 220 power such a big deal? Well, some older buildings were never set up for two or three phase electrical service. So in the past, there was no option or work on until now. Other manufacturers like Colex do offer a single phase 220 40 amp power for a non-conveyor style flatbed finishing system. Suma states that this single phase F1612 is exactly like the original F1612 and all the specs and configurations remain the same. Although there were many more new products and equipment, there just wasn't enough time to capture it all. 
Please make sure you subscribe to the channel as I will be releasing more detailed product videos along with interviews with some of the product managers for these printers I mentioned, as well as some podcasts coming later this year. I hope you found this video valuable and if so, please hit that like button and make sure to share it with someone that might be in the market for a new printer.